I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like. Hello and welcome back to another video with the SBS. If today happens to be the first time you see my face or my pretty face, I'd say, welcome to our channel. We'd love you to stay, so kindly join this happy family by hitting the subscription button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so, so much for tuning in today. Now, in today's video, I'll be unboxing my new blender from Ninja. So the brand's name is Ninja. Uh, let's say, fast forward, uh, let me say, in, uh, was it in February? Yeah, in February, I bought a new blender and the brand's name was Kinwood. So I used it, let's say, from February to, we are in April, right? Yeah, so now. And uh, unfortunately, the blender says it's not going to work anymore. So I had to, you know, return it back and then to get a new one. And since I bought it from Argos, I had to take it back and then they wanted to, you know, replace it for me, give me a brand new one, but the same brand. But I was just tired. I was like, no, I want to change the brand. Maybe the brand is not for me. Yes. There's one. That, uh, sorry. Yeah, Derek is calling me. Yes, I'm coming. So I had to get a brand new one. And uh, I chose the Ninja. The Ninja. So this is is a three-in-one blender. So one blends smoothies, drinks, puree, and all that. And the other one crushes. Uh, and the other one probably. And the other one, uh, what it does is, um, if you want to blend like uh, spices, vegetables, seasonings, and all that, that's what it is. And the other one is also the blender. So it's a three-in-one blender, which is quite convenient because. I would not want my boys to be using my blender, you know, the big one, to be using it for smoothies. They should use the small one. And then I'll use the big one to, you know, blend my vegetables, my, you know, onions and so on and so forth. So it blends, it crashes, it, uh, say, so if you, yeah, and if you also want to, you know, um, make pastries, since I love baking as well, you know, it's also good for it because it'll be easier for me to use this one. You know, use, instead of using my hand, I just dump everything in there and mix it everything and then voila, I'm off I go. So it saves time as well. So let's just go and unbox this one. Although I feel sad because the, the first one was my favorite. Yes, because uh, the things that uh, it did is not literally the same thing as the one that I have just purchased, which is the Ninja one. Because the Kingwood, let's say the Kingwood, yeah, apart from the fact that it blends, it can blend hot and cold uh, items. And it's very large. <laughs> yes, my love. It, and it's very large. It can also, it's also, um, what is it called? You can also measure your flour and anything that you want to measure. <laughs> Yes, is it, it, it? You can also use it for scale, and also I think um, you can chop your vegetables as well. Yes, my love. Yes, yeah, speak to me. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. When you're speaking, he's also speaking to you. But you know, poor babies. We don't hear what they say. Yes, my love. Yes, I'm coming. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it does a whole lot. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pop up here. The picture so you guys will see uh yeah the old blend i'm just gonna pop it up here so you guys will see but let's just go and unbox the ninja one i don't know if you guys use the same thing but uh yeah let's see how this blender goes uh, hopefully it does not go you know what i am expecting you know it does not go my way then i have to return it back and the advantage is that imagine i was in africa or i was in ghana obviously they wasn't going to change it for me do not change it for you so you know when it comes to uh, Ghana and you know the diaspora sometimes there are some certain things that I think that is good I mean the advantage is good and uh, looking at also Ghana there are some things that I would also say that is good rather than you know living the diaspora so you know it's 50 50 you not get everything the same but when it comes to purchasing items I would say 
the diaspora is the best. Yes, because I've returned it and they're giving me a brand new one. Oh my Jimmy Scott, they didn't give they didn't collect money for crying out loud. So the advantage is good. So let's just go straight and unbox this blender. If you've not subscribed yet, remember subscribe, 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 subscribe. Did you hear Derek? He says you should subscribe even though he's crying. <laughs> Alright, so you can hear Derek also talking behind. So this is the Ninja uh, Foodie Power Nutri uh, Blender 3-in-1, as I said earlier on. So as you can see from here, so this is the box. You know, it came yesterday, thanks to Mr. Sibe. Um, so these are the things that it can really uh, do. So it's, as I said, it's 3-in-1, as you can see. So this is the actual blender. I hope it's not small. This is the actual blender, and then that's the other uh, piece, and then the other one is this one. So I think this is meant for smoothies, and this uh, is also meant for, uh, you know, blend, chopping, or let's say blending spices, and you know, getting that smooth uh, stuff, yeah? So it's a dishwasher safe, as I know, but I'm not going to put it in the dishwasher, I'm going to wash it with my hands. So if you want to do your smoothies, cookies, cookie dough, you know, your um, pastries, I mean, it does a whole lot. But let's just say it blends, it crushes, uh, it mixes, it chops. Uh, if you want to have your puree, even for your baby's food, it does it as well. So let's just open this box and see what's inside. All right, so the first thing that I see here is the manual. So it has, oh, this is very, this is very good. Well, every blend or anything that you purchase has its manual. So I presume there's also the manual. Well, they've also got some, you know, dough making recipes like pizza, pies, scones, cookies, brownies, muffins, bread, you know, uh, a whole lot, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, so it also has food preparations as well. So if you need any ideas, uh yeah it tells you how to basically use the blender and uh oh no prepare stew and also jollof rice so oh i love the fact that they've got you know smoothie recipes for you and also i mean making dishes like meat dishes chopped salads uh what else do we have here pizza dough you know new recipes so i'm gonna try out these new recipes so this is the Ninja Foodie uh, quick and easy recipes. So I'm gonna try these. So you guys should be ready for my cooking videos, you know. You should be ready. I'm gonna share this with you guys. I'm not gonna take it just upon myself, you know. I'm gonna share with you guys. So it's got that. And the actual manual for the blender itself. So what's this? Let's just see. I need to check the manual and, and see what I'm having in my hand because I don't want to, you know, set this thing up in the wrong way. So let's just see. That, that. Eric, I'm coming, okay? Yes, oh my god. Probably I should have let Mr. Smith help me to do this. Uh, it should be easy, I hope so, but uh, I need to assemble this jar and I'm trying to see how I'm gonna do that. It should be easy, but let's just see. Yeah. Okay, so this for the cooking, uh, not the cooking, this for the dough. If you want to do pizza, uh, meat pies, biscuits, uh stones cookies so this is the two you need to put this in the blender and then obviously it's gonna mix it up for you so let's just see okay i presume this is the, the <laughs> oh i love this release okay and then it closes release and then it, it closes oh that's cool that's cool so if you press the side, it releases the handle and then you hold it this way. Isn't this cool? And then you press it back and then you put it back on. Oh wait, where do I need to press? 
Anyway, so you press and, and then it brings out the handle. So this is the actual blender. Whoa. It's got this too here. I don't know what this really does, but I'm just thinking this would be for probably smoothies, milkshakes, and extra cream. Yeah, I'm just checking if this is a brand new one. Yeah, it is. But uh, yeah, so I need to check which what this does because I really don't know what these two are meant for. So let's see. Uh, let me have a look. So these blades, bear with me. I'm just checking. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So this one, this is the total crushing and chopping blade. So this is for chopping and crushing. And I don't need this because I just need to blend stuff. And this is for the dough. Ouch! Whoa, this is so sharp, my God. And this is the clearing brush. So this is the power jack. Let's just assemble this because I'm in a hurry to... All right, so let's just get the base out. All right, so this is the base. I don't know if you guys can see. But it's very easy, you know, because... Oh, okay, so you just have the start and the stop and the pose. So you just put this here. Like that. And then you cover it. Wait, is this, is this the right way? Yeah. And then voila, you blend the items. So I'm just gonna show you guys the other items that it has. So these are the other two. So I've got uh, the power loop. Yay, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. So I've got the power nutri cup and the bowl. So this is the bowl and this is the cup. This is the uh, Nutri uh, Power Bowl. So this is the Nutri Power Bowl. So what this does is it literally uh, mixes your smoothies and your anything that you want to mix. So this is what this does. Yeah, I presume it's very powerful and very fast. And I have here the Nutri, um, the Power Nutri Cup. So this is for your milkshakes and for your smoothies. And it's very large so it's uh this is let's say uh bear with me so this is 600 ml so it's very large you know so whenever you blend your stuff mr sibe and also my brother-in-laws when you blend your smoothies put this in, in here and then voila off you go so i'm just gonna start and use my blender and test it and see if this is really gonna work yes yeah, so Hopefully our blended, you know, jollof ingredients turns out well. I need to wash these first and then we'll be able to, you know, use it before to assemble it and then use it. Hopefully it's good. So yeah, there we go. I'm just going to put these away because I don't need these now. All I need is the actual blender and the base. Yeah. So this is a two liter blender. You know. So let's just that so yeah i can't really tell if this blender is good at the moment as i'm reviewing this or as we've unboxed this hopefully this is gonna work and i'm gonna use it for long i've got a small blender which i use for Derek's food now i've been using that for almost three to four years now and i've not had any issues it's very tiny let's say the size is like this and i've not had any issues Meanwhile, the large ones, I don't know why they keep on giving us issues. So, hopefully this one works for me, you know, fingers crossed. So, let's just go and watch this. Voila. So, before I go, if you want to lift the handle of the blender, you just, there is a button here. So, it says release. So, you just press here and then you lift the handle. You put it back yeah. and then voila very easy 
yeah so guys we're going to test our blender now so let's just see how it's going to work as you can see i have in my blender here oil onions anise seeds rosemary uh spice i don't know the full name that i know that it's called calabash it's very round tiny ones and i've got here some herbs italian herbs i've got pepper and uh yeah literally that's what i've got here the rest of it they are all seasonings anyway so i'm just gonna blend all these two together let's just see how it goes I'm going to try it now so all i have to do is to just press uh the power button here and then it turns it on so the first one shows here blend the second is crash mix puree and then chop uh in this case we are going to blend so i think it's the first one that we are going to choose so once it's chosen um once you've chosen uh the blend what you need to do next is uh, you can use this um the iq manual so just right after the power button here to change you know to change the what's it called to select uh your auto uh program or your manual speed but in this case uh let's just see i think i'll put it at just one and then once you done you just press start and then yeah off you go but since we want this to to blend that fast i'm going to press it again bear with me let me just stop it i need this to blend that fast so i think i'm going to change it and choose uh bear with me uh let's just see things seconds yeah so uh it blended very very well so now i'm just gonna pour in my blended ingredients to my tomatoes First, I'm doing two different kinds of stew. I'm just gonna pour half here, and then the rest would be would be added in here, in the other pots. Voila. So the blender is good, I would say. So far, so good. Let's just use this for quite, let's say, hopefully, we can use it for more than, you know, one or two or three years. When I'm making my stews, I always make sure that I put the spices goes first. So the oil, the onions, and then the spices goes under. That's first. That will be my base. Before I add my, you know, tomato paste or tomato puree. Before I add my blended onion, garlic, ginger, and the rest of it. This is because I want to have the taste. I want to smell. I want to taste, you know, the seasonings that I've added to my cooking or to my, you know, tomatoes. To my tomatoes while I'm eating. So that is how I do it. As you can see, I've now added my, you know, blended onion, ginger, and garlic. And I'm stirring it up. So this is for jollof and then the one here will be for uh, gizzard stew. Yeah, that will be for gizzard tomato stew. As you can see, my gizzard is on fire here. So, yeah. So I'm now adding my peas. I always make sure I add it to, to it when... The jollof is almost ready. So guys, how do you want your jollof? Do you want it soft or 
medium, hot, crunchy, how do you want it? I always use the baking sheets instead of the foil because we want to stay healthy, you know. The baking sheet is far better than the foil. So we'll leave this on on a lower heat. And then we'll chop up on it later. So hello guys, welcome back to another video with the SE Base. In today's video, we are in Paris and uh, we're shopping for television. Since Baby D is now getting older, so he's almost eight months now, he has started, you know, crashing things in the house. So we want to hang the television. So we've decided to purchase a brand new TV. So we are literally looking for looking for a larger television maybe 65 inches so we can hang it on the wall and uh, he can get more space to play so yeah the Stacy Bay is around he's I think he's speaking to one of the customer service but yeah we are trying to purchase for a brand new television hopefully we get a better deal as you can see here these are the televisions Yeah, I'm looking forward for us to go and shop at Costco as well. We're going to shop in Bok. And also, I think we're going to Aldi and uh, Tesco's. And uh, yeah, since today he's off from work, we have a me time. Yeah, a me time. Let's go and look for Mr. Pussy Baby because I don't know where he is at the moment. He's too long. There is Miss Stacy Bay. Hi. Yeah. Did you get Oh, this TV is huge. How many inches? 85. 85 inches. Whoa. Maybe when I'm a billionaire, that's what I'll come for. <laughs> but for now, <laughs> let's just stick to 65 inches. <laughs> Is it the same television? Hello guys, 
guys and welcome back to another video with this base. In today's video we're heading towards a birthday party, yes. One of our friends is celebrating her birthday and uh, yeah, I'm already dressed up. Sorry I couldn't vlog while I was getting ready. As you can see from my face, my makeup. and I'm wearing sheen I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm wearing we hope we have fun and uh, we take a lot of pictures you know yeah so come along I'll be going with Derek Mr. Stacy is not coming because apparently he's trying to study so we'll be going alone I'll be going with Derek so yeah so just come along let's go and have fun I'm running late and I'm just here I'm running late and I'm just here ranting yeah, it's late to do, but um, I won't stay out for long. So, are you guys ready for my video? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? So, if you're new here and you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly hit the subscription button to join the sub before me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in today to watch us. On a serious note, let's hurry up because you're waiting for me. Yeah, but then I'm going to show you guys in a video how I got dressed all by Shein from head to toe now wait my shoes are not from Shein my shoes are from my wedding yeah that's one of my wedding you know shoes so yeah up and down it's from Shein I hope you guys like it so let's go let's hurry up Hi. <laughs> I like how Shani is trying to stay in the corner. I was hiding in the door. <laughs> so we're here with a birthday girl. That's her. Wait, where's my hand? Oh my <laughs> Yeah, she's taking pictures. <laughs> I'm 
Thank you.